The first of July was finally here. A whole year of preparing and waiting. But maybe this year, we finally break the curse. They say that the definition of insanity is repeating the same action, expecting a different result. Well, for three years now, we've tried to seek out the cunning and mystical Arctic char, a beautiful fish that lives far up in the Scandinavian wilderness, calmly surviving far from anything. For three years, we've hiked further and further into the wilderness, far and wide for the red-bellied beauty, but with no luck. We've waded through strong rivers, holding on to each other for dear life, and laughing ourselves sore, sharing stories at the end of the day. We've fought off giant horse flies, evaded bears, and had our minds tested by the endless buzzing of mosquitoes and gnats. But we've grown determined, and so has our efforts. This time, we're giving it everything we've got. The year before the trip, we spent sewing our own tent. We'd made our own bamboo rods just for catching char. And even packing with us a weather station, because we weren't going to leave anything up to chance. Yes. We tied countless flies, based on rumors and previous trips. Old favorites and possible new ones hoping that at least one of them would work. Our first part of the journey was driving all the way from Helsinki up to Swedish Lapland. Then we felt ready. Or as ready as we could be. This would be our fourth go at trying to catch this elusive fish. First, we drove 24 hours straight up to Sweden's Lapland, unloaded, and got a heli ride into the deep end of the wilderness. It was insanely hot for being this far north, and all we could do is cool down in the icy cold lake and wait for it all to cool down. Even the animals were in distress and wandered around aimlessly. After a couple of hours it finally cooled down and we could finally finish setting up our camp. Lastly, we set up our weather station to get a truly local forecast. Then we rigged the bamboo rods we made during the winter. And at the same time, glancing out over the lake, looking for rises. The first day was a silent day. There wasn't much talk among the guys except a couple murmurs and grunts. As we quickly realized that the char is a picky one. We offered the fish all the flies we thought we would catch them on. Anything from caddis flies 
clink hammers, royal wolves, Mickey fins, but nothing. But Lars already had a theory. I don't know what to eat, and I tried six or seven different flies. And I was super stealthy. So I think it's the leader. It might be a leader problem. We could see them, and they were rising. But they weren't taking our flies. The hordes of mosquitoes didn't help either. Luckily, all hope wasn't lost, so we soldiered on. Oh, oh okay, okay. So, so, so it's like a special group that. Yeah, like commandos, but in night armor. <laughs> They're kind of rattly and noisy, but. Well, they same principle. Maybe they just go naked. They they paint. The, <laughs> they, <laughs> they paint themselves in black tar, what? black right. tar, so the mosquitoes will get them. Like the stuff you has. Yeah, the same stuff. But you can smell them a mile away. Yeah, they, they don't... Everything smells like shit on tar in the medieval time. Oh, true. That's true. They were pretty stinky back then. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was like, ooh, stinky. <laughs> After a full day at the lake in near perfect conditions, we decided to go elsewhere to gain back our confidence. <laughs> but we were quickly reminded of what happens when you cut corners up here. But it all paid off and we all caught our share of confidence boosting graylings and trouts. It was nice to be oh, yeah. back fishing by running water and taking in the beauty of the landscape. A big one. We decided to try another lake we found on the map that would apparently hold char. The spot was quite far away with a brutal hike, more mosquitoes and swamps, but we needed to try. That's the best you can do. That was pretty shitty. <laughs> I was regulating with the leader, but I, I don't think so now. I think it was not the right size. Yeah. And it was just too big. And they were keyed in on these little mosquito things. Situation here, we haven't uh, seen any fish rising. We've been here uh, half an hour looking out over the lake. Uh, it's a bit further hike than you think, so you have to kind of go up uh, over the hill. So um, it's going to take you about 20, 25, half an hour to get up here. But uh, we haven't seen anything, we haven't fished yet, so I don't know if this is much better. Oh, over. Okay. Um, we'll sit down and smoke a cigarette and think that Okay, why don't you give us an hour and we we have we start fishing now and then we can give you a report in an hour. So it's uh hang on it's it's 20 till 2, so 20 till 3. We let's let's check in there. Over. Mm, they lied and they were on their way back to camp. Once we all had made it back to camp, we took a break before trying our own leg again. But this time it was too windy, and the fish weren't taking under the surface either. Kuiva 
and you could sense the frustration growing in the group. No. Hopefully the next day would be better. Won't fly. The third day started with rain and strong winds, so we decided to sleep in and gather our strengths. The weather kept changing, but every time we felt it would work, we went out fishing. That day had an amazing caddis hatch, but they were still not taking okay. our flies. I'm not gonna pull it for you. Should match the hatch, I'll say. Then it became too windy again. Sunny skies. And then something happened. Almost had him. Run. This is broken! <laughs> <Whoa. laughs> Alright! Nice one too! Alright! Jesus! Look at the color of that! It's a beauty! Isn't that beautiful? The northern lights! We had finally cracked the code. After butchering most of our flies and checking the char's latest dinner, we realized that the char's were dialed in, not on caddis flies, on small midges. And what seemed to work the best was a butchered I mean, fly. this one a haircut as well. I think that's the theme. Haircut. It needs a haircut. Haircuts it for looks like a fucking hippie, that one. Haircuts for flies. That's a hippie fly. A rustic and simple fly, dressed in a thin layer of black thread and a short CDC haircut. Fished just below the film, fill the shank, and activate it just before the char shows up. We all took our time to tie a handful of hippies, and we were relieved. We had finally started to understand this fish, and <laughs> caught one. I shouldn't have done that. No. That was a big mistake. Are you ready? You just burnt ass feathers. I know. I, <laughs> I just realized that. I was like, I wonder if I hit him. I was like, maybe I didn't hit him. I was like, oh, yes, I did. I hit the ass feathers, all right. Do uh, do as we say. Not, not as don't do, do as we, as we do. do. Don't do like we do. Yeah. Okay, you have two small phones. Yeah, thank you. You're not going to do more yet? I'll do the, I'll we'll do one and then. Turns. Okay, we'll we take turns. turns. Okay, cool. And a small celebration was in order. I'm kind of enjoying the whole fact that we don't have a signal here. That don't have mm, a signal on my phones. Oh, right. Because, That's good. Yeah. That's important. It's, it is. Uh, it's so it's good when you start a song with a whoop. Opa. 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 Then you know something's going to happen. Yeah, then you know it's going to be a good one. We, we have the... We have the pliers. Yeah. Ow! <laughs> Where are the... We have the pliers? Okay. That's wasting a bit of plastic there in this way. But it's really stuck together, so... Oh. Fuck. <laughs> oh, shit. What? I'm sorry. It's shit? Good stuff. You happy when you're cooking? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice. It's gonna be something. Oh, good. Mm. You're the human like equivalent of a char right now. It's like going through the whole background. No, 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 <laughs> no, 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 right size. no, no, right no, 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 I have not tasted green Ooh. one. Apple and strawberry. Hmm.
We make sure to enjoy ourselves. But we are anglers after all. And we have a hard time staying away. I'm gonna go to both legs. first couple of hours, the same pattern continued. We could see them, but no takes. Until all of a sudden. Fishing truly has a magical ability to bring out that kid hidden deep inside of you. That tug on the line will make all your troubles melt away. Another great trip up here would soon come to an end. I see a rise on the other side of the lake. After we all caught our fair share of char, we focused on taking in this beautiful wild place. This place that we spent longing to the other 358 days out of the year. We'd all done it. We completed the task. Our mission was complete. An itch had been scratched, but it had only given way for a new one. <laughs> and a special thanks to our sponsors, Helinox for supplying us with beds best sleeps ever this far from home. Arctic Heli for the ride, and all in all, great service. Helsinki's Bay Clay for life-saving buck stoppers and tackle. And Arix for unbeatable hooks. You can find us on hermitcompany.com and on Instagram. Sen kun luet vavat sinne ja meet tonne noin kato munia myöten veteen ja odottelet siinä, niin kyllä taas se kävi tuolla noin odottelemassa. Ota toi mun vene tosta ja menet siitä läpi kuule. Niin me Nokialla tehdään harva se päivä, että me käydään veneellä tosi järvellä ja kattellaan tuleeko kalaa. Kyllä täällä kalaa on. Isojakin kaloja on. Varmana meinaa.